Hey my sun babies, it's Sunny Avi and by the title of the video I am going to be discussing shadow work. I hope that you all can hear me well and I hope that I don't ramble too much but um, <laughs> shadow work has been quite popular for the past couple of years especially on social media. Um, it seems that a lot of us want to heal and understand our trauma however um, us as humans we tend to want the easier way out a majority of the times and when it comes to healing we prefer to feel the fun blissful side to it however we must understand that there is a yin and yang to everything and in order for us to obtain the peaceful side of healing we must go through the darkness of healing now um to me, shadow work is just another word for soul searching. Um, we are going into our souls, um, you know, in order for us to heal itself. Now, with soul searching, um, it's very intense. Um, so you are going to have to be prepared for everything that's coming at you. You aren't going to get, once again, you aren't going to get the cupcake side to the shit. You're not. Um, when we think about it, um, our pain often starts from childhood to um, early teenage years. And majority of, the, of that time, it deals with very deep, excruciating type of pain. And you're going to discover and uncover things that you may have forgotten about or that you've been you know pushing to the side whatever the case may be um you are going to have to be prepared for this um now i know with the word shadow it can be very frightening because of the reputation that shadow has when we think about the word shadow we majority of us um think of it as something evil something of the unknown something not in this realm of reality or something that's following us um you know so the word shadow work you know can be very intimidating um which is okay it's okay to have that emotion towards it um i did write down some notes so if i'm looking down that's why but um i feel like once again the big step to shadow work is being prepared for it um another important step is to acknowledge your pain um if you know that you are unhappy with life or whatever the case may be it's it's because of something um and majority of us we tend to blame other people for our our pain um when at times we are the root as well so also during this process try not to finger point at times it is other people's faults okay we can't deny that but also be prepared to acknowledge your faults and you know your mistakes okay so when the shadow work is not about finger pointing it's about seeing the bigger picture and accepting it all okay um now, with that being said, uh, with shadow work, it's like you're peeling layers, you're, you're peeling back layers. Um, and with every layer that's peeling is going to be um, more intense. Now, with shadow work, it doesn't stop with healing you. It often goes back to your family ties and the karmic lessons and trauma that your your blood family went through now honey talking about those shadow sides so um family size that's another video uh so just be on the lookout for that i may do that tonight but um i'm uh, getting back on track um you must understand how your pain has been affecting you and where did it start who caused it whatever the case may be um, what happened once again see every side to the situation um, also um, another big thing that we do uh, as humans 
we often think that money and love um, will solve majority of our problems. Now, I ain't going to lie and say that it ain't because money and love is something that many of us desire. Okay. But spirit doesn't want the need for love and money. They do not want that to be a clutch. And if you've had that type of, I hate to say it as an illusion, but that's the word that I'm picking up on. If you had that illusion that love from another person um, and money is going to be the result to everything, then you're going to be in a rude awakening as well. Um, for some reason, that was a message for someone. But um, also when it comes to shadow work um we may want something afterwards so like once we go through the whole shadow work process um you know you may feel that okay i'm i'm healed you know things should be coming to me prosperity abundance happiness family whatever the case may be should be coming to me um and spirit will let you know how you are doing on your shadow work journey um, you know, they, they will give you blessings or once again, they will give you more lessons. It just really depends upon your journey. Um, but another thing with it, um, you're going to understand your pain through different things. Some of you, you may envision, uh, your trauma. You may dream of your past. Uh, you may have this epiphany. You may see someone going through a similar situation and it clicks something in your head um so just be open to how you receive um the way your past or trauma whatever the case may be has been affecting you um it is recommended for you to cleanse yourself that's very important uh once again with uh this whole process it's all about us acknowledging our, our faults, our, our pain, our depression, where does it come from, our demons, it is, it's all about uncovering that. Um, and it's best for you to wash that away. Once you acknowledge it and you heal from it, you have to heal from it in order for you to really get that out of your system. Because once you've healed from something, you don't want to go back through that cycle. You know, like you... you if you healed from an ex that used to beat you, you you aren't gonna want to get back in that type of relationship. You aren't going to find those appealing, okay? Um, especially if this has been a cycle for you. Um, and when I say cleanse yourself, you can do this by taking spiritual baths, spiritual showers, um, spells, you can change your diet. Um, it really depends upon your own journey. Some people, they may just want to, you know, change their diet. They may not want to do the spells. They may not want to do the spiritual path. And it may be um, effective for them. Some people, they may have to do all the above, you know, in order for them to cleanse themselves. It just really depends upon what your soul is telling you. Your soul speaking is important during this process, okay? And you will be able to... Um, distinguish between your ego, your soul, your heart, your mind. Like you're, you're going to be able to distinguish between all of that in this journey if you are taking it seriously. Um, another way that you can cleanse yourself is by cleansing your environment. Um, you will be aware of your worth and what it is that you want. And if you've been settling, like you are going to be aware of all of that. So, um, Shadow work may be a bit depressing, especially if you aren't happy with your current situation. Um, you you may want to get out of it. Uh, for some of you, you may have to be patient uh, in regards to letting some things go. It's good that, that you are acknowledging what needs to be let go of, okay? Um, you may find yourself um, separating from friends, family, and you're going to have to be you know, you're going to have to be okay with letting them go. Um, <sighs> shadow work is going to let you know of spiritual vampires as well. So I kind of went on a um, little brain fart. So um, cleansing out m majority of issues is going to be important. Um, you may not be ready to let those people, places, or things go. And it's okay, 
but eventually you're gonna have to push push it away um that's how you get through the process of shadow work um also uh, another big thing um is cleansing your home um you may sage your home you may use different herbs essential oils whatever you want to do um but it is recommended to have your space looking nice to have your space um clean and and neat um so you're gonna have to make it a habit of um cleaning as much as you can um that is very significant with shadow work as well um yeah so <laughs> sorry y'all what kind of like um also another thing um with shadow work is trusting yourself and trusting your divine god and angels whoever you believe in um the relationship with them is going to get better spirit is saying it can get worse if you aren't taking this seriously um but yeah once again it's um it, it can be a very difficult process but it is very worth it um especially if you want to heal um family trauma and family pain um in order for the next generation to not you know go through those uh chains and shackles that you and previous family members have gone through um so hopefully that made sense oh ways that you can um lord i'm just all over the place goodness ways honey that you can start the shadow work process um how i started i i asked god to allow for me to heal i i want to heal my pain and my family's pain that i i told god that um however i started that journey years ago um you can say prayers if you want um there is one ritual that i've learned from uh conjure queen on youtube uh you can light a black candle and um you can look in front of a mirror and just look at yourself and different images will pop up um you can do that however pff, mirrors can create portals so you are gonna have to be prepared for that as well you're gonna have to, i recommend for you to cleanse your space cleanse yourself um because that's a whole nother door um but hey to each his own um that's really all i can think of on how to start the process um is is your journey you can do how you can do whatever you want <laughs> but once again hopefully you guys enjoyed this video good luck with everything and i shall see you next video take care bye